for static analysis, it's important to understand that your restraints must restrain all rigid body modes so that parts don't accelerate or just move under the loads that are being applied. If we take it to a really simple example of this part, if we were going to load up this part and run a static analysis, we need to make sure the restraints will restrain all six rigid body modes. And those six rigid body modes are easily represented when you use the move with triad function in an assembly. We have three translations, one in the x direction, one in the y direction, and one in the z direction. And we have three rotations. Rotation about the x-axis, rotation about the z-axis, and rotation about the y-axis. Quiz yourself on each model you create. When you look at your loads and restraints, think of pushing or pulling or twisting the model in all six of those directions. Ask yourself, can the model rotate or move? If the answer is yes to any one of those six questions, you don't have enough restraints for the model.